When my mother goes into the forest to fetch grass and fodder, she often comes across tigers, bear and elephants. There have been several incidences of tiger charges on my mother. One of our neighbors was attacked by a bear, in which she died. I will give you a talisman. Whenever you are in doubt, or when the self becomes too much with you, apply the following test. Recall the face of the poorest and the weakest man whom you may have seen, and ask yourself if the step you contemplate is going to be of any use to him. Will he gain anything by it? Will it restore him to a control over his own life and destiny? In other words, will it lead to Swaraj for the hungry and spiritually starving millions? If the answer is yes, the action you contemplate will be right. You'll find your doubts and yourself melting away. Many of the poor people of India, mostly women, enter forests on a daily basis. They collect wood for cooking or to sell and grass to feed their cattle. This results in the degradation of forest and attacks from wild animals. In the last decade, over a hundred people have been mauled by tigers, elephants, leopards and sloth bears whilst collecting wood. Such incidences lead to retaliation attacks from the villages, affecting already depleted tiger numbers and other rare wildlife. A tiger is a large-hearted gentleman with boundless courage and that when he is exterminated, as exterminated he will be unless public opinion rallies to his support, India will be the poorer for having lost the finest of her fauna. We at Marseille Conservancy are trying to stop what Jim Corbett clearly feared. We have started a project with the aim of reducing this human-animal conflict. We have initiated handmade artifact workshops in a local village. The primary material is the invasive weed species Lantana camara. Objectives Saving the tiger and other wildlife by reducing the man-animal conflict through minimising the need for entry into forests by local people by providing an alternative source of income in the form of the Lantana handmade artefacts made by the local community. Lantana first arrived from Central and South America in the 19th century via Australia as an ornamental plant. It is an alien species that has spread rapidly through birds spreading the plant seeds and insects helping in its pollination. Lantana's ability to utilise both insects and animals so efficiently has led to dense areas of growth. These dense areas of growth result in the reduction of other plant species as they are outcompeted for resources such as sunlight. The difference between forests with lantana and no lantana is dramatic. This dense growth can make the viewing of wildlife much harder. As even large animals can be hidden by the dense growth. However, one community is using this negative species for a positive use. The village of Ringora is eradicating Lantana from its community by using it to make handmade artefacts.
Having removed the lantana, it is replaced by native species to help them regain some of the control of the forest again. The lantana is collected in large groups close to the village under specific guidelines to reduce the risk of wild animal attacks. After training, this community is now working together to help the wildlife and themselves. By selling the artefacts, it provides an alternative source of income to the firewood. As there is plenty of lantana in the area, it also means that these villagers do not have to go deep into the forest. This therefore reduces the human-animal conflict that is occurring often in areas close to forest habitats. It is also stopping the degradation of forests. It is an actual way to help protect India's most treasured animal. The tiger. By saving the tiger, you are also saving many other species.